Hey everyone, Rose here, and it's time for a UV map. I started by making a new material and adding a grid texture to it. Then in the properties tab, I turn on live unwrap, and from there I can start adding scenes. For that, I generally use one of two methods. I either select a point and then use Ctrl select to tag a seam in between them, or I use Alt select to select a whole edge loop and then right click and mark seam. Since I have Live Unwrap turned on and UV Sync select turned on in the top left, I can instantly tell what's happened when I add any given seam. And with a grid texture, I can see if I have any weird squishing and stretching and add or remove seams as I need them. There are two major things I want to avoid with my UV map. One is a bunch of really bad stretching, and the other one is a bunch of visible seams. The problem with that is that in order to get rid of stretching, you need to add more seams, but in order to reduce the number of seams, you're gonna end up with more stretching. So you're gonna have to compromise. Personally, I tend to split up my UV map into islands for the individual parts, for example an island for the tail, for the torso, for the arms, for the hands, for the legs, and like for the head, and occasionally some smaller ones for something like the ears. Then I add additional seams, like along the length of the arms or the tail, in order to reduce the squishing as much as possible. I try and put the seams in places where they aren't going to be very visible, but sometimes that's just unavoidable. In this case, I actually end up with a seam going all the way down the middle of the main character, because I decided to keep the UV map mirrored, since both the textures and the baking are going to be mirrored too, and I wanted to save some texture space. The clothes, the hair, and the eyes aren't going to get a mirrored UV map, because this either the sculpt is asymmetrical or the textures are going to be, so I need both sides of the model to have individual UV islands. I continue to go around the whole model, making sure all the individual pieces are nicely unwrapped and don't have any weird stretching. the first part of the process is done. All the seams are in place and all the objects are nice and evenly unwrapped. Now all that's left to do is arrange all the islands so that they efficiently use the space on the texture. To begin with, as I said I would earlier, I delete half of the main body and add the mirror modifier back again. This character is going to end up with two sets of textures, one for the body and one for the clothes. That way the clothes can be changed without a bunch of texture space being wasted. In object mode, I select all the objects I want on the body UV map, that being the body itself, all the stuff on the face, the inside of the mouth, the hair, and all that good stuff. Then I apply scale and go into edit mode and press U to unwrap everything. Now they're all evenly sized so I can move them off to the side and slowly start arranging them on my texture space. There are a couple of parts of the model that are more detailed and more important than others, so I scale them up a bit so they get a bit more space on the texture. For example, I do that for the face. I also try and group parts of the model together that belong together. So for example, all the teeth and the tail maw go together, all the pieces of the hair go together, and so does everything that belongs to the face. 
I don't think that really makes much of a difference on a technical level, but it makes my life a bit easier while texture painting, and I just generally like having stuff a bit more organized. While arranging all the pieces, I also try and leave as few major gaps as possible. I want a bit of space in between all the islands so I don't get, like, texture bleeding over from one part to another, but I also don't want a whole bunch of wasted texture space. That's the kind of thing the UV Packmaster add-on is really good for, but in this case I didn't use it because I wanted to make sure that everything was grouped together nicely. This whole process isn't really that important for stuff like personal models that don't need to be particularly optimized, but in this case it's a commission and it's supposed to run well in a game engine since it's supposed to be used for VR chat. So I took my time to make sure everything was packed together nicely. And once I was happy with how the body looked, I repeated the same process for the clothes. And with that, the UV map is done. This has been another shorter and less detailed video, but I hope you guys were still able to get something out of it. In the next one, I'll be showing you how I did the baking. Hopefully that will be next week, but more likely it's gonna be in two weeks because next week I'm gonna be super busy. That being said, that's all for me for today. I hope you guys have a nice day and see you all next time. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and all that, and maybe check out one of my other videos to the right. If you'd like to see more of my art or maybe get a commission from me, I've put links to all that in the description below, and I've also put a link to the Discord server. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day and see you all next time.